Yo, greetings, salutations, welcome to the Terror Dome and all that good shit. I'm Editor in Chief Trent Clark, EICTC. Very special edition of the Litmus Test, because every edition is a Litmus Test. We got Mr. Producer, Extraordinaire, Drummer, Thaddeus Dixon here breaking the Litmus Test record uh, for uh, guests. <laughs> it's like seven, eight? No, not that many, not yet. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you hold some type of record, so it's a special edition, my brother. My guy, my guy. I appreciate being here, man. Absolutely, absolutely. So what's what's been up since the last time we seen you? Um, give, give us the rundown. Well, I just got off tour a couple weeks ago um, uh, with Brent Fias. Now I'm back in L.A. Just Where all take, did you guys go? Psh, man, we went all over. Toronto, Detroit, Chicago, uh, Atlanta, London, Berlin, Paris. We went everywhere. Sounds it was lit. fun. Yeah, Sounds yeah, lit. it was fun. Yep. Uh, so I'm just back in LA now, taking these few months to to just concentrate on, you know, the studio and producing and writing, you know, placing records and you know, got some got got my own record coming out soon, featuring somebody pretty dope. Oh yeah, so, up and coming. Yeah, yeah. Is it Megan Trainer? Was just a guess. Just a guess. That nah, is. nah, nah. Uh-uh. That was 2015. Oh, She's cold, God. though. Shout out to you, Megan Trainer, and your trainer. <laughs> well, yeah, it's uh, the litmus test, man. Like, I appreciate you coming back in, you know. Sure. Uh, you know, since the last time you've been here, there's a lot of, uh, you know, dope artists we've stumbled upon. Uh, one's actually even getting an album review uh, that's going up later today. He's, okay. uh, he's pretty good. Dope. Yeah. Where's he from? Uh, don't quote mm-hmm. me on that. Okay, sorry. A lot of artists. A lot of artists, <laughs> okay. but yeah. Um, and you got your studio popping, you know. Yeah. I, I was there for All-Star Weekend. You know, they yeah. used it as an event space for Allen Iverson. Like, yeah, you, know, you got a really nice space there. Like, what? give us the benefits, you know, especially for our up-and-coming artists out there. What's the benefits of having, like, a go, you know, maybe having your own studio might be a little stretched right now, but a yeah. go-to space to where, you know, feels like home. What's, what's the benefits of that? Um... Well, you want to be comfortable, you know what I mean, creating and, and um, having your own space is just, it's, it's definitely uh, a plus because it just, it just makes you create better instead of going to like, you know, all these other places and you know what I mean, like you can have a place where you invite other artists, producers and you know what I mean, you can offer, you know, um, them a space to, to, to create with you. So it's, it's definitely a plus than just being all over the place. Nice, nice. Yeah. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Shout out to Joko. Shout out to Mr. Sage McKenzie, my man. How you living? Shout out to Jesse Marquez. Shout out to journalist MTE. We in here. Yep, yep. Uh, Joko said you look like Lloyd Banks. I don't see it. Nah. Uh, Bro Benjamin Cunningham was good. Michael McLeod was good. Who else we got in here? Shout out to all my YouTube regulars. Shout out to Vega Fox. Shout out to your nigga Pablo. Shout out to Royster Five Nine. You know, tuning in for uh, DX Live earlier. Word, today. Detroit in the building all it was, day. It was it was? <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, yeah, Michigan made it to the Final Four. Huh? I mean, the, the national the championship. The national championship. Actually, yeah. yeah. Ohio State. They got. I think was it the first round or second round? They got put out. That was one of them too. But what yeah. happened on uh, the national championship? You know, like they, oh, I don't. I didn't go to Michigan. I'm not. A, I'm a Michigan State fan. There's, I mean, there's only one winner. Michigan State. I know uh, they got knocked out. In the first <laughs> well, <laughs> well, speaking of Michigan, our first uh, contestant is from Michigan, Mr. Kyle Raps. He's Already made my decision. Oh yeah, he's okay. from Michigan, so he, he bias. We'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> but yeah, Kyle Raps. He's representing Grand Rapids. That's Hold a, it down. That's not even a nice city, but shout out to you, Kyle Raps. But yeah, as always, there's rules to the shit. Ninety days, ninety seconds. We don't take submissions. Anyone who wants to submit, lit at hiphopdx.com. Or hashtag us on Twitter, Facebook, or in YouTube. Litness test with your song submitted, and uh, you know Dante, he's uh, behind the green screen right now. Uh, what are you eating? He's eating something, but you know he's watching all the submissions coming through as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so lit at hiphopdx.com is the email as well. In 90 days, we don't want songs older than 90 days. We don't want your first talent show win. You know we don't want the show that the song that you stole from. Uh, Bobby Smurder a couple years ago and use it to get get some heat in your region. You know we want you know people who are on their 
upward career tra- trajectory. Um, we also, 90 seconds, you know, some of our record label homies told us it's a long time to listen to a song. But, you know, here at Hip Hop VX, we like to, you know, give an honest listen, you know. But just make sure if, you know, you just submit a song with a lengthy intro or, you know, a spoken word piece or whatever, uh, make sure to give us the timestamp so we know when to... Uh, Push play on your song so you're not wasting your 90 seconds on a Martin Luther King intro or some shit. <laughs> yeah, right. We get plenty of those. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, Mr. Kyle Raps, he's representing uh, Grand, Rap- Grand Rapids. The name of the song is Dead Wrong. Let's get our monster elements popping. Is that Dead I Wrong? I need a parody. Dude? Can I, I mean, since I hold the record for coming, do I get a, like a free pair, Dante? <laughs> nah, yeah, Dante has all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kyle Rats are dead wrong. Let's get us the litmus test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the suburban murderer. I'm the president. Fuck the president. Yes, fuck me, please. Wanna wipe my ass with six honey. G's wanna get funny. Sneeze, I'm a sick junkie. Spit like my back had six monkeys. Dwarfs get grumpy. I don't push the snow white. I push the flow right. Call an orthodontist, so don't bite. Over me, she and her sister gon' fight. You telling stories, get slick. Rick the ghost right. Go ask a boa constrictor who the most sight. Coast to coast flight with the hoe that goes. Let's menage a quatra. You, me, her, and Lady Gaga in my Sonata. Hyundai, one day I own a helicopter. Wash down the ice cream sundae with the tail of lobster. Fuck a taxi, all hell a monster. Blackie, so dope it's tacky. A tough nut to cold cocaine can't crack me. Smoke propane and breathe fire gas me. <coughs> Go to New Delhi. So much beef, niggas need to find a new deli. Eat so many rappers, about to grow a new belly. Two sellies, one for the money, and the second for the hoes who felt me. Checking for the hoes, can't be too wealthy, nigga. Duck down, I'm uptown. You, Chelsea, you were just a healthy. I will eat you, and then I'll get a second helping. Ask Mr. Belding, you will not be rescued when the bell rings. Yeah. All right. Dead wrong freestyle, weaker the strong, who got it going on? Mr. Thaddeus Dixon. Uh um it was cool. I mean his his rhyme, you know what I mean, his his flow on the beat, you know, it was it felt good. It was I don't think it was nothing that like grabbed me to be like, yo, like this is you know like Oh well, yeah, it definitely it didn't grab you. I mean the beats damn near twenty years old. Yeah. Um Yeah, it's it's all right. Sorry, yeah. Kyle Raps. So, you know, I don't know the mentality, but behind rapping on uh you know, it's funny too. I mean, hip hop has progressed, changed, morphed, mutated, however you want to look at it, so much. You know, um, you know, look, look at different eras. You know, different pockets of time uh, within hip hop culture. The beats per minute change. You know, so um, I remember the first time I heard Dead Wrong, I lost my mind. You know, Biggie's Biggie's rhymes definitely sounded new, and Eminem went stupid on the song. Um, you know, listen to that just the instrumental alone. Uh, just now, I just really felt like I was moving in slow motion a little bit. Mm. Um, it's just old. Yeah. Um, Swami Natero said, "Stop disrespecting legendary beats." Well, I won't say he disrespected. I mean, you basically you know barred it up, and even like on the second uh, second flow, you know, got the Lord have mercy, tuna fish, Jurassic Five flow going. You know, so uh, you know it was, it was it was all right, but you know nothing yeah. nothing that. Uh, that I, that I would consider, um, you know, progressive or innovative. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for the submission, Mr. Kyle Raps. Keep doing Grand Rapids proud. All day. All right. Next up, we got Lambo and Low. I think he's been on DX Live before, if I'm not mistaken. Like one before DX Live was, you know, multi-camera setup and good sound. Uh, yeah. So he's one of the early people. But uh, yeah, this song, uh, he's out of the DMV area. Um and Fat Trail. Fat Trail, so he's still with uh Maybach Music Group? I have no clue. Is Maybach Music Group still with Maybach Music Group? <laughs> uh, I have no clue. So they're they're all uh I guess they're all still, you know, in the mix, but you know, Wale seems like he's doing his own thing. Yeah. Rick Ross is taking care of his health. Yeah. Uh and you know, Fat Trail didn't never really seem like he um 
you know, he really popped off and anything, but I'm pretty sure back home he's a, a local hero. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this one is uh, Lambo Anlo. Yeah, he's been on the DX Live before. Um, we're going to start this one at the 45 second mark for you guys, but this is for you featuring Fat Trail. Let's get it. Maryland Tarpon, stand up. It's the litmus test. Roll the clip, pro. She standing in a long line Seven figure jigger, man I had to make the song cry Shorty got that wet, wet But all she do is tell lies I'm a rapper, set, set Burning like a bonfire Pulled up in a cool And it's white She my type When I first met the She was f***ing with a dyke First night, spent the night I was wrong, she was right I was gone, it was tight Like the song, that's high, yeah I'm gonna eat the front or back If you gon' come and ride it I can keep it quiet, just let me come inside. Yeah. Lambo and Low, Fat Trail for you. Oh, some uh, good looking extras in that video, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is, what you think? Definitely sounds current. Right. You know what I mean? Especially compared to the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like today, it sounds like, you know, I can hear that anywhere in the club, you know. Maybe on the radio, but it definitely sounds current, you know. I like it. it, it I think it helps also, like, listening to this stuff and seeing a visual because you can see, you know right. what I mean? The, you know, not that we judging visuals or nothing, but well, you know, I, it's, it's, just it's, a, it, it's, you know, I always say for the litmus test, you know, visuals, uh, you know, they're fair game for critiques and praise, but they don't necessarily make or break the song critique. So, true. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the visuals fair game to, to speak on because that's what we watch. That's yeah. how we experience it. And it yeah. usually eight times out of ten, it helps. So keep that in mind uh, for everybody out there submitting. Yeah, you can see that like the inspiration or what the song is about. But yeah, the song, the song, I, I like it. Um, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. I feel the same way, um, you know, as on the visual tip, definitely clean, uh, definitely uh, envisioned uh, a pretty good night at the club. I mean, everybody's been in the club multiple times. Some nights are just completely fucking lit, and some are you looking at your clock like, hey, right. is it time to go to bed yet? Right. Uh, you know, so that captured the former. Um, you know, as far as the song goes, definitely really current, uh, really upbeat, uh, groovy. Um, as far on the songwriting type, nothing catchy, you know, like... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's the plies, you know, plies Gucci, man, you know, um, you know, where the song stops and like, um, I forgot, forgot what the plies said on that song, but, uh, or, or even like Shorty Low, they know, big up to all my haters. There wasn't any catchphrases, uh, mm -hmm. from you, Lambo and Low. So, uh, you know, you got a good handle on melody and what type of beats work, you know, just make sure that you're making songs that, you know, your fans or up and coming fans can take and hashtag that particular part and, uh. Yeah. And, and, and run with it. Chorus, I mean, you, you, like you were saying, like you could take advantage of the chorus to have something that catches right. you or trendy. The chorus could have been a little stronger, but I mean, we get the idea, we heard it, I mean, right. you know. So, all right, let's see what uh, see what the people are saying. Uh, journalist MTE said nothing special. Joseph Davies said rap needs to rewind back to 90s, early 2K, for last album I bought. The last album I bought was 
Ro roast five nine Eminem bad meets evil sequel. Man, your spelling is atrocious, Mr. Davies. <laughs> uh, that's the last album you bought, really. That's uh, I'll touch on this topic later. We're gonna come back to this. Sage McKenzie says, Yawn. Uh, Antoine Max says, Start calling this shit easy music. Yeah, it's easy listening. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, it was. It's it's hard to call it bad. And hard to call it great. Um, you know, so above average, but uh, you know, uh, maple milk said flavor of the week. I don't like this flavor. All right, yeah, so yeah, it's above average, it's, it's solid, but yeah, thanks, uh, Lambo and Low. Keep banging. Next up, we got Maine the Saint, he's out of Philly, man. These Philly artists, they know how to make it to the litmus test. What's the, what's the secret, Dante? Tell us, Maine the Saint, drop. Uh, <laughs> I like the name Maine the Saint, like, uh, spell like the. Maine the state and his Maine the Saint. Um, he represents Free Nation, representing Philly. The name of the song is Drop Top. I wonder what this song's about, Mr. Dixon. Uh picture of a car. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Kinda hard to tell. But it's the litmus test. Let's get it, y'all. Niggas looking blessed. Yeah. Show me something. Yeah. Trapping, jumping. Yeah. We've been working. Yeah. Dollars coming. Yeah. Hottest level for flex. flex. OG for the stress. Flex. OT getting checks. Flex. All my niggas looking blessed. Praying I wish you the best. Gonna get that shit off your chest. How can I give you a shoulder? I'm in the city of Cobras. Feel like I owe it to niggas for holding me down when the world was a boulder. Yeah. Feel like I owe it to niggas for holding me down when the world was a boulder. Yeah. You don't never want to talk about it when it's coming down to the past. Feeling like I climbed a hundred mountains through the rainy days will never last. Probably know me from the raps and never growing to attach. First you always going front till you hit it from the back. I've been rolling through the city barely sober. Lately I've been feeling like my dreams is getting closer. Niggas sick and tired of fucking sleeping on the sofa. Lil shorty hit my line, she want a real nigga to hold her. I've been on the road. They think that I'm out here trying to play games. Told them that I'm trying to make my own lane. Vibing conversation, blowing doors up. Floating through the city, barely sober. So yeah. All right, Maine the Saint with Drop Top representing Philly, my distinguished guest, Thaddeus. What do you think? Cool. I mean, it was like chill, you know, riot music. I mean, um, I feel like after about 45 seconds, like my mind started to wander. Right. I don't know. I mean, no, same. No, you didn't know. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of wandering and nothing like really... I don't know. I think the hook came in like a, a little late, maybe, maybe you know. I don't know, but it just I don't know. All right, so pros, main the saint. I agree with everything you said. That is, uh, pros. Uh, you know the beat rides. You know it definitely captured the two miles an hour, so everyone sees you vibe. Uh, you know nice. Uh, you know bass drops. Um, you know definitely subwoofer candy. Um, so that moved the song right along. Um, as far as the flow, um, very, 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 uh, you know, predictable, you know, uh, and, you know, you, you, you have, you have a pretty sturdy beat. You have to inject your own artistry in it. You know, that was what they call the Migos flow. You know, it's just, uh, you know, the trap flow, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like there's a formula for making rap songs or like Antoine Max said earlier, easy listening these days. Um, but that's not going to get you to the promised land. Um, you know, so, you know, we'll, we're not calling it whack, but, you know, you're just getting thrown in the pile with everything else that we hear on the litmus test and outside of the litmus test in our inboxes. As a, as a producer, that is, do you ever instruct artists how to, you know, uh, attack particular beats? Um, definitely. I mean, kind of going in, I'll let them just do their thing, you know what I mean? Because I want them to kind of be true to themselves, but I, I definitely at some point, 
you know, a recording, try to tell them do this more or do that, or you want, you want to have some stuff to stand out, not the song to just be, you know, like that. You want it to have some peaks and, you know, something to grab you. Right. Otherwise, it's like, even when I'm in the studio recording, it's like, I'm not even paying attention or I'm bored there. So right. it's like, you know, you got to really, like, see how you can capture people and be different, you know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, catchphrases. Catchphrases. Yeah. Uh, everybody's asking where to submit. Lit at hiphopdx.com. That is the email. Dante's on there right now waiting for your submission. Uh, <laughs> Joko said, Main the Saint is heaven sent. It's heaven sent? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess that was a bar. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I missed it. I was like, uh, Smith Baba Tunde said this joint is lit. <laughs> All types of thumbs up and fire emojis. Okay. Cool. Uh, journalist MTE said it was solid. Shout out to Lakeith Rashad in the building. Uh, Antoine M said basic cafeteria flow. Um, Baker Fox said if you didn't have the radio generic cadence, he'd sound more original. Yeah, the. the the flow was definitely the biggest issue this time around, man. The same, but yeah, yeah, thank you for the submission. Let's get on to it, man. You having fun? I am. I am. I love it. hearing new music and new artists and stuff. Absolutely. Next up, we got Devonte, not of Jodeci, but this is uh, Devonte, like me, featuring Devin, not of the dude. Um, Devonte featuring Devin, like me. Where you from, Devonte? Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> All right, without further ado, Devante, like me, featuring Devin. It's time for the litmus test. Let's get it. Yeah. Looking at your girl, I think she like me. Yeah. Just wanna be my wifey Don't talk about it, I just do it just like Nike See how I'm moving, ain't no nigga do it like me We gon' turn it up, it's a movie, yeah, it's Spike Lee My girl, yeah, she bougie, yeah, she get a little feisty Say she love how I be killing shit, I do it nicely You know how I do it, you want me the nigga like me, like me, yeah If you call me, pick it up I ain't never had enough Never ever switch it up R.I.P. Fredo in the cut Call on me, I beat it up Face it and eat it up Music on so groovy Turn around, girl, let's make a movie Wrist, neck on froze Your girl see it, she on go Off the wood, young stone Automatic, girl, I'm in the zone Lights off, let's get it Pennies down, yeah, she with it Faded, faded, I'm lit it Yeah, girl, it's your birthday Pull up on you at your workplace Hit it in the break room With the chest, girl, make room Going dumb like cartoon how you want it, let me know On the table, on the floor Flip you over so you quiet yeah, I don't ever get tired yeah. Looking at your girl, I think she like me Yeah, She just wanna be my wifey Don't talk about it I Yeah, Devante, Kevin, like me Produced oh. by Devante Do you like me? Like, that you, is I, I, mean, I don't know, it's, um, it's hard Like I see what they going for You know what I mean, but like, I kind of liked it, and then it was kind of, like, elementary-ish, kind of, you know what I mean? But I see, like, the sound and what they was going for, but I feel like if they, you know, keep going and you polish it some more, you know what I mean? Like, the it's the little things, you know what I mean? Then I feel like, yo, this, like, it could be something. Like, even from the cover, I like it. It's kind of original. The, the music is original, but it still sounds, like, a little uh, not as mature as, like, Polished records. Well, I mean, speaking of polish, I think Maple Mi Milk, maybe Maple Milk, hit it on the head. He said, "Mixing cannot be stressed enough." Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I agree with you a thousand percent. I'm on a baseline, Devonte, Devin. Um, you know, you guys, you guys had a melody. You know, that's why I was like kind of bobbing. When you know, I mean, it, uh, from a from a vocal standpoint, you know, you you had me moving even without the beat. You know, more easy listening. You know, uh, you know, nothing really to uh, really dig into too deep on the critique side. But at the same time, just really never reached a plateau. Like this isn't fucking with anything Fetty Wap is doing, and uh, you know, or Travis Scott, and you know, or even uh, on the R and B tip of Jeremiah or anything. You know, so.
Agreed. I know what they're going for. I know what the aim is. You guys just aren't there yet. Um, uh, but I will say, I'm the complete opposite. I don't look like the artwork. I mean, like when, I, especially when I zoom in, like there's. I'll, I'll go ahead and say that there's for all you up and coming artists out there, especially with low budgets or um, you know, you know, still working a regular job. And, there, and there's a there's a sense of underlying. Uh, Smoke and mirrors that you know just because you guys record the song and you put it out not mixed you know not not properly produced uh, but you can you guys can kind of skip the line thanks to technology and the internet these days but I mean this like me cover um, which I'm which I didn't judge you know for, for this music presentation but I mean like like you know it's supposed to be an enjoyable record but you know Photoshop Ferraris and you know, random chicks, you know, it's not like the, even like the like me is like very, yeah. very kindergarten like, um, yeah. you know, this is your, this is your art. And even if you guys do go up and blow up, you know, you'll be doing interviews about, you know, your amateur work. So, uh, again, I cannot stress out, stress the fact for people not to be, uh, not, not to be in a rush to come out and flood SoundCloud and Audio Mac and Spotify with new music because, uh, there is no rush, you know, good music will always win, you know. Um, there's a lot, a shit ton of artists. Everybody wants to know how they can break through. You can break through with great music that people like. Mm -hmm. A Boogie just said that in one of his uh, Netflix, uh, on his Netflix documentary. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah, a lot of people wondering why the music not getting played. People don't like it, yeah, because it's not polished. You know, you guys got to get to the level. Yeah, you get to the level of practicing making songs like that, but not like this. But don't necessarily put them out just yet. Yeah, we'll see what the people are saying. Uh, Anti M said Dr. Seuss rhymes putting him to sleep. Vincino667 said, I remember times when acapellas leaked during the MC, didn't even want them out there like MF Doom shit. Yep, definitely, definitely. Now it's everything comes out. Jose Gabriel, when's the next breakdown? It's coming. And you'll be surprised, too. Who's the host? Uh, what's that? What's the breakdown? Uh, the breakdown, you know, our weekly oh, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah Merz just had a baby. Oh. Um, yeah, so he's, get, he's getting back in the mix. Congratulations to, to Merz once again. Um, JJ Hype said uh, he just sent one through. Yep, Dante will get right on it. And uh, Joko said, better go reciting Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Hey, featuring uh, T Pain can make it a hit. <laughs> Absolutely. Vagrant Fox said, would it hurt someone's submission if they just spit for 90 seconds with no beat? No, I don't think it would hurt, but I don't know how effective it would be. Yeah. I mean, there'd have to be some hell of a bars. Yeah, to get there, we li and we're listening for records, right? You know what I mean? Exactly, that can be song content submission. Yeah. yeah, so uh, you know, it's a combination. You know, everybody like all oh, bars need to come back. Bars never really left, but it's a time and place for them. It is. It is. The artistic package is always is always going to win above all. Yeah, you know, what I mean, like there's a reason why we call you know Jay Z, the Kanyes, the Drakes, the Goats, Kendrick Lamar's. You know. Uh, both sides of generations, you know, they made they had the lyrics and they had the music, you know, music that you can vibe to without uh, necessarily relying on, um, you know, too many gimmicks. Yeah, so that's why battle rappers kind of stay battle rappers and never kind of cross over to thousand percent, thousand percent. But uh, moving right along, thank you for the submission, Devonte and Devin. Uh, we got Milestone. His name is Miles, and he put the stone in front of him, and made it Milestone. Clever. Okay. Well, I fuck with it. <laughs> Uh, he's out of Charlotte, North Carolina as well. You guys neighbors? Did you go to uh, school with Devin and Devontae? Did you beat him up? You take lunch money? Did you? Did you? Uh, <laughs> this song is Animosity. And he's out of Charlotte. And yeah, let's see what it is. Milestone. Let's get it. Fell in love with the flower, but I didn't know the rule. So when the winter came, girl, I didn't know what to do. The day I said I change is the day I lie to you. Tear drops in the rain, girl, it's puddles of the truth. But with you, girl, our love was so crazy. And I'm sorry that I've been so selfish lately. It's just the demons, girl, I swear they trying to shake me. My phone ring before you see, let me erase it. I don't want no problems, I don't want no beef with you. I got so much love for you, so much things that I would do, yes I do adore you, I never meant to hurt you, but if you wanna hurt me, know my love is really perfect, nothing but my love you, but I had no love you, I've been mobbing on the late nights, thinking and scheming, I'm through the daylight, and I know it ain't right, yeah. 
want you to talk to me right now I really need to see right now Cause you've been on the road but you're not rolling with me right now I can feel that animosity right now I get no more loving right now Cause you've been on the road But you're not rolling with me right now I don't do no more Oh, I like that But I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do I do take care of my shot I do my shot I do my shot Right, milestone animosity. Dope. Oh, you think that is he fucking uh, coming for a uh, Brent Fires spot? Uh, gonna take it down. You gonna take it down? I don't know. Maybe uh, you never know. Um, like from from this song? <laughs> um, no, he got a little more work to do. A little bit more work to do. Yeah. I mean, it it didn't sound bad. The melodies were cool, you know. But again, it was like, you know, just kind of. There didn't like really go anywhere and didn't have any climaxes, nothing like grabbed you. It was like, like you said, easily, easy listening, good melodies. But you know, a, a lot of times, you know what I mean? And it takes some while, a while for development, but it's like, it's the little things you got to pay attention to every little detail. And you know, that's why the greats take so long sometimes, you know what I mean, on their music because you know, they want to just make sure every Everything is right, so you know. With this, it was a couple of little things that I could hear that was like missing, but it it wasn't bad. Like, like um, you know, especially being around you know Brent Fias, all this. What what do you hear out of an animosity that was actually missing? Like, um, help, out, help out, young Miles. Well, the ev- I think from what I can recall, every melody was. It was all. It was like within a you know. A, a, a small range there was no melody that took you up or took you down or you know it took a long a, a long time for the song to break down to have any like right. you know it, it was just basically monotone and um like the mixing was a little you know things were kind of like a little different in the mixing it wasn't like just whole it was kind of like little pieces scattered um yeah i mean i, I agree with everything you said i mean i'll be honest miles I didn't like this song at all. Um, you know, you're, you can sing. You know, people have been telling you can sing, so this is what you're at. But, you know, as far as songwriting and song structure, it definitely needs a lot of work. You know, it came, especially the way it started. When I pushed play, it just kind of just like like dropping dishes on the floor, you know, just really abrupt. You know, there was no easing into it, you know, and I still, as far as the songwriting tip, I really don't know what the song was about. Yeah, tell um, you have to tell stories, yeah. you know what I mean? There was, there was no flow, no build-up, no crescendo, no apex. Um, yeah, so uh, you you definitely, um, you know, have potential. We can hear that in the voice, um, you know, just just need, need to get a, with a team of sound men, producers, and writers and uh, figure out what, what you guys want to do, you know. Uh, and that's another thing, too. Every singer these days feels like they got to compete with Trey songs, you know. They feel like they got to croon and get shirtless and everything and make jams for the ladies. I mean, females listen to a wide range of music. You'd be surprised. Yes, they listen to the slow jams and the cheesy stuff. Yeah, you know, that's a given. But I think there's um, I think there's multiple ways for R&B singers to break through and uh, obtain fan bases, you know, aside from, like, trying to make panty droppers or... Or, yeah. or emotional uh, breakup songs, or I want you back, babies. You know, I mean, we, that's the surefire route. But you know, be unique as your name yeah. is. So. You have to think of creative ways to to write, and that's why you know Brent Fias is kind of you know where he's at. I'm listening to his lyrics. He's, he's a creative writer. He says some of the same things that we all say, but he says them in a different way. Or he says you know like he says. Uh, uh, things we're thinking in a different way. Right. So, you know, just try to be as creative as you can. Right. Different. Let's see what your peers are saying, Milestone. Your nigga Pablo said, boring. Geronimo Schroeder said, simp anthem. And Raiden J, hashtag the simp gang. Yeah. And Antoine Max said, cats be tra- Trey Wrongs. Oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah. Back to, back to the frying pan, Milestone. But you got it. I believe in you. Um, next up, we got how do I say this? Masu, Masu. <laughs> We're gonna call it. You're you gonna be Masu today, because uh, I don't know how to say that shit. Uh, this is Masu. He's out of L.A. Uh, the name of the record is Late Night News. 
Got advertisers on your SoundCloud. That's what's up. Out of L.A., late night news, uh, late night artwork. So without further ado, it's time to listen to the late night news. Uh, let's get it, bro. It's kinda nice to make the news All my dogs are hollering at the moon She thinking I keep her in the loop Sometimes you got a lot to tell her yeah. I might call you up when I'm alone Right now I'm like hanging out the roof Tell me I'm the only one you want Sometimes you got a lot to tell the truth It's me you want, drinking and teasing me And I'm getting greedy, I can't leave with one Yeah, I'm running the fever now Putting the ice in, damn I make it look easy, huh? Late night drinking won't save my life I don't need you, no yeah. Late night women won't save my life Make it right for me These are kind of nice to make the news So, late night news. That is. Um, I don't really know. Um, maybe it's just me. Well, I don't really know what this, the song's about. It was kind of like a little. It wasn't a concise yep. idea or direction. I think yep. one thing I did like though was like the space. You know, um, like the more you make music, the more you'll learn like to put you know space. You know, that's like when you're talking to somebody, they don't say, "Oh, how you doing today? We going to the store? You want some drink?" Blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's a conversation, and you breathe. You know, people can digest the idea, of what you're saying, the sonics, and everything. So that was cool. The beat was cool too, vibey. Um, and but, that's that's a part of songwriting. No, like knowing when to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. It, overall, it was cool. Just the content, I don't know. I I, I was kind of lost. I didn't follow the story or direction. It didn't yeah. grab me. Yeah, you, you kind of fell off a little bit, uh, Masood, midway. You know, make it look easy. You know, like, felt like you wanted to be a swag lord of what's going on right now instead of just focusing in on creating good. I know as soon as whoever made this beat, who made this beat? Uh, produced by King Benjamin. And as soon as King Benjamin played it for you, and like you know, it sounded like some late night creep, and so that's what you guys did. Uh, but you know, as far as outlining the story, or even uh, you know, just fleshing out, you know, what you want to accomplish with this record, it got a little muddled. But and you know, at the same time, uh, you know, you're you're decent. You know, uh, I, I thought it was gonna be a you know, the, at the very beginning, yeah. you know, it was a little croon there, and that's what I thought it was gonna be an R and B joint, which uh, would make sense as well. But you know, I'll be looking out for you. Yeah, um, Joko says beat is fire, but artist is an- Antarctica. Man, he's he's full of puns today. <laughs> uh, JJ hypes it. Now this sounds like Trey. It definitely sounds like something Trey would uh sing on. Uh, Daniel Reagan said bland music. Ha ha. What the hell? Um, Brian Thompson said duck you. All right. <laughs> um, what else? Vincino six six seven said, "I kind of agree. Lyrically, didn't have much to offer. Yeah." And Vega Fox said, "The chorus had me thinking it was a story. I was sadly mistaken. Yeah, wasn't no news there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, keep banging, my brother. You got it. Yeah. Uh, next up, Long Live Czar with Oh My. Long Live Czar. Not sure I heard of him. Where you from? It's a music video. Uh." Maybe from the Bay. All right. All right. So we're about to get into it. It's a video. Roto Clip Pro. Long live Czar. Oh my. It's the litmus test. Like up and down. Up and down. Girl, you know I like it. Drop it to the ground. Drop, drop it to the ground. Round of applause. Make that sound. Make that sound. Are you new 
in time, but I bet you know now. And I bet you know now. Super freaky, you should come kick it on the beaches so over kick it. I know you wanna blow up out of pound marijuana. Oh, bitch, I got bras in Atlanta. Just a couple bad white bitches in the body. I know you like it. All up in your head like a psychic. Like a psychic. Quarterback sack if you hack it. Take your lemonade to the house, let me spike it. She out the meter. Pretty young fly, mama Zita. And she got body like a cheetah Going out, missing at the coca and the shisha Oh my Oh my Yeah Alright, long live Zara, oh my I could have had to start a little bit later Zara, mm -hmm. 14 seconds wasn't good enough But uh, yeah You want you to see his acting Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, get <laughs> <laughs> the litmus test screen editions, <laughs> screen actors uh, guild. Uh, what do right. you think, that is? I think it was a um, a polished record. Like it, it, like the mix sounded good, the the vocal sounded good. I mean, it was definitely. I mean, I guess the video helped was interest interesting enough, you know, and helped to like follow it. You know what I mean? Um, it was cool. It you know it wasn't like terrible. It was like oh this is bad. You know what I mean? I think maybe maybe lyrically, he could have been a little bit more swaggier. It was the it was kind of I'm not gonna say corn like corny lines. It wasn't corny because well, you people know, on YouTube. Were, you know, some, you say what? Well, <laughs> some of the viewers are saying corny. Oh yeah yeah. I mean um, you want to make lyrics easy to where you know it ain't too complicated for a person to like comprehend it. You know with a record like this, but. Overall, you know what I mean. It, it felt good, yeah. you know. It could be an album filler, maybe on something. Right, somebody. Like that. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, definitely more polished than what we've seen today, uh, by far. Um, as far as the songwriting goes, it was one of those songs I, I mentioned earlier. You know, uh, cheesy fair for you know the average, uh, average female base. You know, there wasn't really too much uh, depth into the lyrics. The video brought that out. You know, you were, you know, showing. You know the best looking girls in the island, the best time. You know, so you know, good looking, good looking clips are, um, yeah. And I, I think, you know, I think there's there can be several variations of the song. I think even a remix can make this pop because like when it built it up and then that bass kicked in, yeah. uh, you know, I felt like that was really gonna make the record go, but you still kept it subtle. Uh, personally, I think you know you yeah. probably could have benefited from a little bit of a turn up. Uh, Sage McKenzie said it was polished, but not really hip hop. Yeah, I mean, it's R and B. You know, we're still uh, R and B yeah. over here too. Uh, what are people saying? A lot of laughing my asses off. Poor girl. Mike J said song didn't laugh out loud. Song didn't start. I mean, I think it did start, and he did give us a timestamp. Anthony M was 14 seconds because he, he wanted us to see the acting. Uh, and he said repetitive and scattered, but the melody is good. Yeah, it could have. Needed a better crescendo. Yeah. And uh, Steve Michael said lyrics were so funny. And yeah. Vega Fox said he's going to strangle that woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was imperfect, uh, Zara. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the submission, my good sir. I appreciate it. Next up, uh, David Childs. The set. Representing NYNY. Big City of Dreams. It's produced by Fortune. It's off the album Strawberry Skies. Mm. Does that excite you? Strawberry Skies? Uh -huh. uh, no. Putting them strawberries up in the sky. <laughs> some strawberry <laughs> soda, Joe <Sky>. Joe. <laughs> Dave Childs. The set produced by Fortune off the album Strawberry Skies. It's time for the litmus test. Let's get it, pro. Get it. Yo. Absolutely. 
Trying to live this thing to the fullest. Trying to take this thing to the top. Ain't no other way that I could put it. Yeah, I came for a lot. I ain't for it all. Sniper mode, we are ice with those. And I suppose that they like the flows. Late nights up in the sauna. My squad ain't nothing but piranhas. Yeah, we lit like marijuana. So try your shift you wanna. Was trying to make a 30 under 30 list. But nigga, fuck a list, I'm still the dirtiest. Now they just hate cause they ain't heard of this. But trust me, I've been grinding, homie, word the clips. Went from your pusher to your passer. Pray for those who trust, pass the gases. Yeah, set. I put on for the set, it's all for the set Y'all ain't with the set, and I ain't with the threats I put on for the set, it's all for the set Y'all ain't with the set, and I ain't with the threats I put on for the I set I must have been a gangster in my past life Did it just to do it, get the cash right I need me like ten bitches on my last night Just to say I get nigga yeah. Dave Charles, the set produced by Fortune. Right. I'll start. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this one, uh, Dave, was uh, a little bit all over the place for me. You know, um, especially just that ending bridge that we heard. I need 10 bitches on my last night. And, yeah. uh, you know, this is this is what I work for. You know, you you started to introduce a lot of uh, the today's rapper cliche uh, phrases in the song. And... Uh, you know, kind of, you know, it was kind of built up that, you know, you were on the MC tip, you know, you were going to use your, um, you know, your lyricism and your flow and your delivery and your warble to get the story and the melody across. And you kind of relied on the trap, trap claps and the trap chorus. Uh, so it was a little bit all, you know, it wasn't really a congruent record. Um, and it's in... Another con, like, I mean, it wasn't horrible. Another con, like, you know, don't you don't sound like you're really in tune, uh, you know, with who, who your who your, vo your voice is as an instrument. Uh, you know, it, was, it seemed like there was an obvious intent not to use auto-tune, and I've seen people are complaining about auto-tune from the last couple of joints, but, um, you know, you got to know who you are as, a, as, a, as an artist and what your vocals can do, especially if you're going to be spitting bars. Um, you know, so the beat that Fortune made really didn't mesh well with your voice. Uh, didn't really give me a, a Strawberry Skies vision of auditory goodness. Right, so it was just okay. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of like all over the place. I mean, it, even when you spit in bars, you still got to have like a concise idea of what, you know, you're trying to you know, display or paint to the listener. You still want to tell a story. You know what I mean? That's that's if you want to make good records, you know what I mean, and and ha give people a vision of what you're talking about, you know what I mean. Like you can spit, you can have bars all day, and if they all over the place, then people are like, I don't know what this song is about, you know what I mean. So, you know, think and, and like making songs, you know, do your research, even though you may be a rapper, you know what I mean. Go listen to Stevie Wonder songs or you know people, legendary people songs, you know what I mean. And you might not listen to Lionel Richie or nothing like that, but it's a it's a lesson in listening to the structure of the songs and all that type of stuff. So just a little bit of advice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, um Steve Michaels basically said what we said. He said it was a little too hard to understand the words, took a while for the beat to drop, a bit wacky all around. That's a really good word, wacky. And it was <laughs> you you put like it's like Frankenstein, you know, you put the arm of a rabbit and the or the, or you put the arm of Quavo, and then the the head of Dave East, and then the 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 wrist of Takeoff. You know, it was just a little all over the place. Anthony M said, "Yes, very cliche." Uh, Abilo D'Souza said, "Trying to sound like the Weekend at the end, though." Yeah, yeah, it just it came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> nah, yeah, that's a good uh, good point. Um, and uh, Joko said, "Big Sean style, it was lit." Word up, glad you liked it. Uh, but thanks for the submission, Dave Childs. Next up, we got Paris with Rude Boy.
representing the AZ, that hot ass Phoenix weather. Dry, rude boy. Paris Howard put it out on my birthday. So it better be good, my brother. It better be good. It's the lyric uh, visuals. Let's get it. Roll the clip pro. It's the lit is test. I don't pay. I don't, I don't pay. I don't pay. I don't mean to be rude, girl, but you don't even know me. And just like me, you're lonely. Even if you're so long, freeze. I don't mean to be rude, girl, but you don't even know me. And just like me, you're lonely. But got a bad man taste, oh, do you don't even know Take a spot. Oh, Wanna give you a fight. You are just what you got. Eh? Treasure I love to plot. Eh? Rose that I love to pot. Eh? Be like, let's spend the night together. I'm like, let's tackle life together. A night just wouldn't suffice to write. I'm at a town that I like to ride together. Fly together, see the skies change. My forever need your eye games. Your exchange, no mind games. Gotta see the real you through the time frame. Some other ships with the capsize Let the love be pure, call it baptized I've had trash, you've had trash But we can leave it in the bag and act wise Let the past die yeah. I'm following you following. Yeah, Paris Rude Boy The very visuals That is, what was your, what's your take on what you just watched And witnessed and experienced and digested and diluted Um, I mean, it's it was like the lyrics and melodies and the track didn't it didn't go together at all. It was like you know they were like they weren't fighting each other, but it just didn't it just didn't go together. It's like putting two pieces of a puzzle to to together and they just don't fit. And you just they look similar, but it just doesn't fit. And you just leave it. You know you never can see the whole big picture because it just doesn't fit. So I I really couldn't get past that right there. It was just. Not meshing well for me. Yeah, I failed to see the point of the record. You know, uh, obviously, you need to hear the name Rude Boy. You expect some Wayne Wonder turn up or, mm -hmm. you know, and some Rihanna vibes. Uh, so, you know, that maybe gave me a false sense of expectation. But, uh, I mean, for starters, you know, it was a song lyric video combo, and the lyrics weren't even meshing with uh, when you were saying the songs. It was a little, there was a delay there. Um, and, and then you know, like the, the song never built up, you know, and it was really hard to really concentrate on uh, the lyrics. Raiden J said he tried to be like Gold Link. <laughs> Why? Because Gold Link has like a deep voice, kind of <laughs> rapping, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I really wasn't feeling that one, my brother. I'm glad I didn't watch it on my birthday. Overdose on coffee said tired. Uh, Mike J said C for effort. Uh, Geronimo Schroeder said this video should have a beautiful black woman in it, black woman in it, and uh, Abilio De Sosa said I thought my phone went off. Daryl Manley said he just needs better production, and Joko said I would set this song for alarm clock, and Jake Rome just joined, so that that tells you everything that you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but thanks for the submission, Paris. All right, last but not least, today's litmus test. We got Gucci Gray of the Chillionaires with a doing it freestyle. Sick. This better not be no LL Cool J doing it. <laughs> like, I mean, y'all flowing to 90. Y'all flowing to 90 songs. Y'all don't really understand the 90s context of delivery and the way uh, songs are created there. You know, it's good to... Good to be on your dope movie shit, you know, get a box and wear fluorescent colors and call yourself throwback. But, you know, you got to really, uh, you know, understand. Uh, but I said uh, I said enough without uh, actually hearing the song Gucci Gray. So um, 
This is uh, the doing it freestyle, and it's a video, so roll the clip, bro. Let's get it. It's the litmus test. Sir. Gucci, check it, uh, trials and tribulations make you grow, uh-huh, I just wanna grind and make the dough, uh, I've been at an all-time low, now I'm getting to this bread only on my own, Rolling trees and smoking weed to get high to the sky, Facts. the finest designers I like to stay fine, don't try, Facts. I'm getting back so they all getting mad, but I still do me while they all looking sad, I've been down for so long, I just never want to look back, had now of being broke and some dreams of me cooking crack, but now I'm getting a bag and it's changing my whole reality, women who never looked at me, claiming that they be after me, it baffles me, I never got played, they used to laugh at me, but now I'm Gucci great with some game, they don't want ass at me, killing bitches, not feeling niggas, oh where the tragedy, I'm actually focused on goals and living lavishly, uh -huh. Got wild paper and wild haters, cause my style's greater. Damn. Got wild flavor like fresh packs and now later. It's high now and it's by later. Your girl, you're so violated. I blew it back out and annihilated. I caught a lick and then I bought a zip and I doubled it. They caught a flip and worked my way up to a quarter brick. Man, I'm hustling, stacking this bread like I worked in a bakery. Me and my niggas, we trap in the kitchen. They making cake with me. Don't play with me. I'm nice with two K's. Don't play no games with me. I'm bowling. I got AI's IQ mixed with a J and me. The juice that I got just proves that I'm hot. I'm moving my stock to a level I'm never losing. A lot. My star power's out of this world, I'm in a space of my own So calm it down, who got the crown? I need my place on the throne I lock it down, hits, I knock them out, I'm chasing for home I'm chasing for gold, trophies of Grammys, I'm taking them home Yeah! Alright, Gucci Gray with the Doing a Freestyle That's definitely the best beat we've heard today Yeah, definitely came with the bars He saved the day with the bars, he, he came with it Yeah He's um, consistent and, you know, he Stuck to his lane, you understood what he was doing. Bars, you know. Vagrant Fox said, "Doing this beat justice, in my opinion. Took all fucking episode." <laughs> 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 yeah, um, yeah, good, good for you, uh, Gucci Gray. You, uh, you know, I had some reservations, but you definitely attacked that beat, right? Uh, shaving some points on originality. Um, you know, there's, there's going to be fans, you know, especially in today's streaming era, who hear that and just think this is. This is dope. We'll never hear the beat. Don't know where it came from. And they'll really like it because, I mean, what's not to like about most 90s hip hop? Um, but, you know, you definitely float it. Yeah, yeah. It's authentic, realism. Yeah. Uh, the beats were, you know, so I said a lot of people rapping to these 90 beats uh, don't understand because the beats were laid for your lyricism to shine, you know. Uh, nowadays, it's kind of the opposite. You know, Metro Boomin and Murder Beats, you know, they're winning because, you know, they're creating the vibes and the artist doesn't have to do anything but say, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, good job on the flow. What are you rapping to LL Cool J for anyway? Don't you look like you and the children there should be on like Mob Deep Beats or something. But, um, you know, it was, it was definitely a, a good flow. Uh, Mike J said, finally, someone who has a flow will laugh my ass off, he should win. Uh, Bill L. DeSouza says, you're killing it. Uh, Notorious White 56 drunk a pint of vodka. I dare you to drive. Get it? Don't drive. Uh, doing this beat justice. Uh, K Fresh said, maybe next week, I hope. Or your submission. Yeah, Dante got it. I'll, I'll put it on. We'll look at it uh, after this. Uh, after the submission. Uh, and, and look for it. What's the name of the song? All right, what, are this, what are you guys saying on Facebook? Damn, 2.5 mics. Daryl Manley, for that? With at least a three and a half. <laughs> uh, Daniel Reagan said, nothing like Tech tech 9 style. Oh, yeah, he's responding to Joko's trolling. Joko's been trolling you guys all day on Facebook. Do not listen to him. And journalist MTE said he's getting off. So, yeah, so let's uh, get us a winner here, Thaddeus. I mean. Um, all right, so obviously Gucci Gray yeah. uh, woke us up. Yeah. Uh, who, who else was in the running? Uh, Lambo Anlo with For You and Fat Trail. You know, I would think that was the most, the cleanest uh -huh. uh, presentation we've seen today. And uh, everyone else, nah, I'm not even going to say anyone else. Everyone else had yeah. issues that really, really took them out of, uh, I guess, Oh My. Oh My would probably be another. What's, what Canada. Is, he was, was the, 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 the the island guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah he he, he was. Yeah. So between those three, we got Gucci Gray with the 
LL Cool J freestyle, doing a freestyle. We got Long Live Czar with Omar taking over the island of San... Who, I don't know where the hell he was. Brazil. Um, and Lambo Anlo, him and uh, Fat Trail took over the club. Yeah, yeah. Who's your winner today? I mean, I think Gucci Gray. It, it just it felt the best. I mean, that's a, that's a classic beat, and you right. got to come, you know, e- even though it is easy to listen to that beat because you know it, right. and, you know, he came with it. Yeah, I, so. I agree. I agree. Uh, we're, we're living in an interesting time in hip-hop where, you know, freestyles, especially, um, you know, unoriginal beats are, you know, becoming an afterthought because there's just so many abilities to make new music. Uh, so uh, I do give you the win, Gucci Gray, but I also give you the challenge to give us something original yep. that gives us the same feeling. Yep. Uh, so shout out to Gucci Gray. This song we posted on Hip Hop Yes. Shout out to the Chillionaire. Shout out to the whole city of Brooklyn. And, of course, my mm-hmm. Uncle James Todd Smith. Uh, good guy there. That LL Cool J. Yes, sir. That is what's poppin'. What, what you got working on? What you working on next? Man, I'm in the studio trying. To, I'm trying to get on this Rihanna album right now. That's my focus. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I heard Rihanna uh, records her albums very uniquely. Like you know, she'll have all superstar talents like such as yourself, and you guys, uh, you know, sit around, and order all the caviar and shrimp you want, and and get to making music. Shit, I don't know. I ain't. <laughs> I ain't, I haven't gotten. In with her yet? I'm just in my lab, just creating every day, and I got some other records that's you know that's about to come out on some other people. But my 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 big thing right now is you know this Rihanna um album oh, yeah. trying to get on that yeah. So what, you you heard some stuff already? You been talking um, to Omar? What you? What, what? I, 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 I'm not gonna put myself. I ain't gonna say too much. <laughs> Gotta get them DX exclusives. <laughs> Okay, Rihanna album. So it's coming this year? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you brought it up, so I'm going to attack and attack. It's something. I mean, you nah. know, certain people, you, you don't know. You can't say nothing on you. you know, so. Well, no. That's, I'll be looking out for that then. Uh, I think Rihanna's last album is definitely her best album, uh, mm-hmm. Auntie. And so uh, high expectations for that joint. Oh, yeah. yeah it's nothing but, nothing but heat. Everybody wants to know how you submit. You can submit the same way you always do. Lit at hiphopdx.com for the email, or you can put your song in real time. Hashtag litness tests, and uh, you know we'll see if we can pull it from the pile. You know, but everybody's been doing a pretty good job of submitting their songs, uh, giving us the artwork, giving us the you know where the city they're from and everything. So um, you know you might want to submit to the email if you want to. A fast track experience, but you know, we'll always take those hashtags. And of course, you can hashtag me anytime E I C T C. It's me, TC15, on all platforms, and I'll listen to your song in real time if uh, you know you hashtag it. Uh, what about you, Thaddeus? Where can, where can we find you on social, like always? Thaddeus Dixon, uh, at Thaddeus Dixon, T H A D D E U S D I X O N. It's my Instagram, it's my Twitter, and from there, you can find everything else. Word up, word up. Yeah. Well, like always, we appreciate you guys for tuning in to the litmus test. Yep. Check us out for next week for more of the action, more of the real. Shout out to Monster. Shout out to Mr. Thaddeus Dixon. Shout out to you, J. Cole. Uh, don't go anywhere. Go to hiphopdx.com. We're going to post it as soon as it drops so you get the experience and the talk amongst your peers. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh. Scoochie, I know check it. Uh Trials and tribulations make you grow. Uh-huh. I just wanna grind and make the dough. Uh I've been at an all-time low, now I'm getting to this bread, only on my own. 
Rolling trees and smoking weed to get high to the sky. Facts. The finest designers, I like to stay fine, don't try. Facts. I'm getting back, so they y'all getting mad. But I still do me while they y'all looking sad. I've been down for so long, I just never want to look back. Had now is of being broke and some dreams of me cooking crack. But now I'm getting a bag and it's changing my whole reality. Women who never looked at me claiming that they be after me. It baffles me, I never got played. They used to laugh at me, but now I'm Gucci great with some game. They don't want ass at me. Killing bitches, not feeling niggas, or where the tragedy. I'm actually focused on goals and living lavishly. Got wild paper and wild haters, cause my style's greater. Got wild flavor like fresh packs and now laters. It's high now and it's by later. Your girl, it's a violator. I blew it back out and annihilated. I caught a lick and then I bought a zip and I doubled it. They caught a flip and worked my way up to a quarter brick. Man, I'm hustling, stacking this bread like I worked in a bakery. Me and my niggas, we trapped in the kitchen. They making cake with me. Don't play with me. I'm nice with two Ks. Don't play no games with me. I'm balling. I got AI's IQ mixed with a J and me. The juice that I got just proves that I'm hot. I'm moving my stock to a level where I'm never losing a lot. My star power's out of this world. I'm in a space of my own. So calm it down. Who got the crown? I need my place on the throne. I lock it down. Hits, I knock them out. I'm chasing for home. I'm chasing for gold. Trophies of Grammys. I'm taking them home. Your cash flow. My cash flow got fast growth. I monopolize while you played games. To pass gold, a real nigga, authentic, one of the last show. I never bag dope, but crack coke to make mad dope. Nope. The last hope, bars flowing the swag dope. Nope. So have hope, fuck finishing on a bad note. I'll pass smoke, then catch me a clean body like bad soap. I'll kill shit on some bill shit like a slash throat. Hey, lacking conviction, and I rap like I'm packing the Smith in the tracks that I'm bringing. Bring you back to a rap, had a vision. So listen, what I'm spitting, it should be taken after. Mm. You're trying to be the greatest rapper or your favorite rapper. Mm. Niggas is too fake and too faced like a famous actor. Yep. Like Netflix, I let clips go in a shameless manner and i speak nothing but facts and that's a major factor i'm high and beat off the pack rolling like trailer track to saying i leave rapping alone is like saying mesa pasta i'm a major hazard i'll cap a nigga like say the chapters i stay true to myself and just gave you the real and i'm staying independent nigga fuck taking the deal for real i'm having dreams of just making a meal so i can eat and feed the fam like i'm making a meal so chill i'm waiting still to go in for the kill on some puffy shit to last me wait did he just hit a bill Ew. Trials and tribulations make you grow. Uh huh. I just wanna grind and make it dough. Uh. I've been at an all time low. Now I'm getting to this bread dolly on my own. Facts. Rolling trees and smoking weed to get high as the sky. Facts. The finest designers, I like to stay fine, don't try. Facts. I'm getting back, so they all getting mad. But I still do me while they all looking sad.